New bridges and improved safety and traffic flow are not the only ways we'll all benefit from the Iway project. That's because demolition of the old stretch of I-195, which now divides downtown Providence from the Jewelry District, will, in effect, open up more than 35 acres of land alongside the Providence waterfront. It will become prime property and a prime opportunity for the City of Providence to further expand its reach beyond the heart of Down City. This area along the waterfront is known as the Old Harbor District. With the relocation of I-195, the city's plans for Old Harbor call for the reconnection of neighborhoods, re-establishment of historical streets, introduction of waterfront parks and greenways, and mixed-use redevelopment. Plans for this area have been in development for well over a decade in conjunction with the Highway Project and continue to evolve with input from citizens, elected officials, city planners, business owners, and the Department of Transportation. However, the overarching goals for the development of Old Harbor are clear. To successfully reconnect the Jewelry District with the waterfront and Down City. To support Providence's mission to become a living city, where people not only work and shop, but live. To establish public parks, open space, and access along the waterfront and to promote development that complements the existing fabric of the waterfront while providing much needed tax revenue. All of these elements must come together to ensure Providence's growth, elements that promote revitalization, safety, and access for everyone, the very core of the Highway project. The Highway will become one of the most impressive public works accomplishments in Rhode Island's history. It has required many years of planning and coordination between federal highway officials, state transportation officials, state congressional leaders, city officials, engineers, architects, citizens, and others. It has involved multiple stages of construction and the efforts of hundreds of workers. It has included the construction of a bridge weighing five million pounds and floating it more than 12 miles up Narragansett Bay. It features the redevelopment of India Point Park and its pedestrian bridge connecting the east side. It will involve the demolition of the old span of I-195 and open up more than 35 acres of waterfront property. And it will mean safer travel to our jobs, our hospitals, and our homes. The scope of the highway project goes beyond new bridges, ramps, and traffic flow for motorists traveling to and around Providence. It is more than just a new highway interchange. The highway will literally transform the city's waterfront and how we access it. It will become a new gateway to the heart of our state's commerce and improve our quality of life here in the Ocean State.